Hey, what's up guys? Johnny here back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. Today, I share with you guys my five loadouts for the new rank season. So before we get into it, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for daily cut mobile videos. Let's get into it. So one more time, my loadout number one is another rushing loadout. I love SMGs. I love rushing in team that match. Uh, last season, it was Cordite. Season before, RUS 79U. And guys, just use your favorite SMG here. It's not about the weapon. It's about the loadout overall but use the smg you like if you want a good rushing loadout and i know some guys still like faro some guys still like msmc there's a lot of good smgs in this game i'm just giving the qq9 a try here i played one session with it and still getting to learn the time to kill and stuff so i make some mistakes but i'm loving it guys and it feels really good for now so anyways for the attachments i'm using quick draw grip and extended mag uh it's got a lot of ammo for real uh, i'm still using the smrs i know some guys like pistols at secondary but i really like taking down the score streaks whenever i can it gives extra points it helps the team so i'm using it i'm not using ghost anymore also so that's even more important to take down the uav so i'm using lightweight to run faster i'm using toughness it's really good when you get face to face if you're getting shot you're gonna win more gunfights because you won't miss your shots as much. Then Dead Silence, guys. You need to use Dead Silence in ranked. Super important. And I guess some guys still don't realize how important it is. And most of my loadouts, I use frag grenades. It's just a matter of habit, I guess. Some guys like maybe the sticky here. I just really like frag grenades because you get more control. You can cook the nades and decide exactly when you want to release them. Now, Annihilator as the operator, I think it's one of the best right now. It's really good, one shot, one kill, and it's not super hard to use. I'm doing pretty good with it right now. So getting a lot of quick, easy kills with that, and it looks like you get very good value. Now for the tactical grenade, I'm just messing around with the concussion. I don't use it much, but I find out if you're rushing, uh, the trophy system's not super useful because you don't stand at one spot anyways. Uh, and I guess it depends on the game mode. So if you're going to use that maybe in domination or hard point, you might as well go for the trophy system, guys, because you're going to get more value uh, when trying to capture. You lay down the trophy system and stuff like that. But I mostly use that loadout in team that match. And I want to try using concussion a little bit more. So let's see how it goes this season. Now, loadout number two. Keep in mind, guys, I'm mostly playing with randoms and ranked. So if you play as a team, this is for domination for me. I use the transform shield. It's really good for capturing objectives. And I'm also using the smoke grenade. But if you play as a team with friends, well, you obviously don't need five uh, transform shields. You don't need five users uh, with the smoke grenades. So you probably won't need a loadout like that. But if you play with randoms, you cannot expect them to carry a transform shield. So I really like having it on the team. That's why I use it all the time in Domination. Now for the main weapon, you guys just use whatever you like for real. I like ARs, but you don't have to use it. And of course, if you have the HBR, I do have it. I love the HBR. It's a great weapon. Just use what you like, guys. I'm using the BK-57 because I still like it a lot. It's a freaking laser at long range. There's not a lot of weapons that can compete with that at long range. Uh, it's very, very accurate. Using quick draw, grip and fast mag now for the perks once again lightweight to get where you want faster i really love lightweight i use it a lot dead silence again for second perk there's a lot of options of course toughness but if your weapon's very accurate you don't really need toughness uh, ghost is very good for objective game modes of course uh, and i really don't like using cold-blooded just to counter the shock rcs and shock rcs got nerfed so i'm going back to ghost and I feel it helps a little bit. But again, if you have a weapon that has like a lot of kick, you might want to try toughness maybe. Now, loadout number three. And once again, some guy's going to say, yo, you don't need two loadouts with BK-57. Well, it's not about the weapon. Once again, just use whatever weapon you like. It's not about the weapon. For me, it's about the game mode. And you can see here, it's pretty much the same. But instead of smoke, I'm using... Uh, the trophy system and gravity spikes i use this loadout for hard point and i feel uh the trophy system is really good in hard point because when you're in the hard point you're gonna receive a lot of stuff and the trophy system might save your life 
and get you a couple extra points. And Gravity Spike is still used a lot this season for what I've seen at least. Uh, and Hard Point, again, when you're going to try to capture or recapture the Hard Point, Gravity Spikes is uh, MVP here, guys. It's really getting you a lot of value. It's going to get you some double kills in the zone. And it really helps capturing. For the weapon, again, if you like SMGs, go SMG. If you like uh, HBR, just use HBR. It's not about the weapon, once again. It's about what you do with the loadout and the game modes, mostly. My next loadout is my only loadout with Hardwire. And it's for Search and Destroy, mostly. I use this loadout in Search. I've been using the PDW57 for multiple seasons. At close range, it's a beast. It kills very, very fast. Uh, long range is not the best, but still, I love the PDW, and I use Hardwire because in Search, trip mines are much more a factor. You don't want to die to a trip mine; it's gonna affect your team. You don't respawn, so yeah, it really, really is sad if you die to trip mines in Search. Now I'm using Agile on that one just because of the little extra speed to aim down sight in Search. It might make the difference and get you the kill when you need it. Uh, I don't have to tell you about uh, Dead Silence, guys, especially in Search. Like, if you're not going to use it in other game modes, at least use it in Search and Destroy, guys. It's really, really annoying when your teammates don't use it. Uh, Annihilator doesn't matter what you use here because you're probably not going to get it often, but might as well equip Annihilator. So if you use this loadout in other modes, you might get to use it. Uh, I use Suppressor on my weapons in Search because it's more important, I feel, that you don't get spotted on the mini map so that's pretty much it and then uh smoke grenades and search i think it's the best tactical grenade here now of course if you play with friends you might go trophy system if you know your friends got the grenades uh the smokes for for tactical uh, situations maybe for planting diffusing or just to distract the other team throw a smoke somewhere go the other way sometimes it can work and finally, my loadout number five is a sniper loadout. I always have a sniper loadout every season for multiple situations, but also sometimes for search on defense, uh, depending on the map, of course. It's always good to have one. Sometimes it's just to respawn with it, get a kill on someone that was camping, and then switch to your other loadout for the rest of the game. Uh, you never know. But once again, for snipers, my favorite one is the DLQ, guys. It's always been the DLQ uh personal preference use whatever you like i know arctic 50 is awesome uh, the locust is really good for mobility and quick scopes um you can use whatever you like they're all good now again agile for quick scoping faster toughness it might make a huge difference if you're getting shot at so you won't miss your only shot that you need and dead silence always especially again in search with the smoke grenade and i use trip mine here because more often i won't be running around so trip mines are good annihilator again best uh best one this season i feel let me know in the comments what you think but that's pretty much it guys these are my five loadouts at least for the start of the season i might change during the season of course i like to try new weapons here and there but i don't like to change just for the sake of changing when something's working good for me i like to stay with the same loadouts at least and that's gonna be it for at least a few weeks so once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it's going to help you deciding what to choose for the next season. And uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more COD Mobile videos. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Contact with enemy. We've taken the lead. We tied the lead. Oh boy, my teammates spawn with me. Reloading, cover me. It's too close. Fight harder. We've taken the lead. It's already over. Uh. Got a slide for the kids also. What was that? Targets in sight. Come on, I get stuck in Cover the me. walls. Reloading. Changing back. Cover me.
Oh, this is bad. Changing mag. Reloading. Mm, let's go. Don't. Thank you. I was gonna hit the wall there. Cover me. Reloading. Cover me. Reloading. Right, now I have to wait. Changing mag. Reloading, cover me. Killer drone on standby. Friendly airstrike incoming. Enemy inside! There's a guy somewhere there. Oh my god. Objective almost complete. Keep it up. Mm. No. UAV recon standing by. Repeat. UAV recon is standing by. Oh crap. Crap. UAV online. Enemy contact. Good game, good game. I got three decent games today with the QQ9 for real.